Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be a soulmate read for the sign of Cancer as Cancerians got the second highest views in the last reading that I uploaded. I did this reading for the sign of Pisces because of because they got the most views. I will be doing this read as uh, as uh, you know as um, as we go along in the month for all the signs which will be getting most views. Like for instance, Pisces and Cancerian got the most views. So next time if they get the most views, I will be doing the doing it for the next two highest signs as well. So that's how I will be going about, you know, the soulmate reads in the month of uh, November. So before I dive into the reading, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And um, yeah, let's dive into the reading. Let's find out what is the soulmate message for the sign of cancer. I will be adding... Um, uh, you know, I, I will be asking three different questions here. We are going to pick up the current energies of your soulmate, first thing. Then we're going to tap into their feelings, energies, thoughts around you or for you. Then we're going to take a special message from them to you through cards as well. So let's dive into the reading. Let's find out your soulmate's current energies first. Let's see what are they doing right now in their life. What is up with your soulmate right now in their life? Let's find out what is your soulmate doing in their life right now what are their current energies what are they up to in their life right now what is your soulmate's current energy right now let's find out Ooh, nine of swords two of wands the death i need the deck we do have six of cups i need that we do have nine of swords i need that we do have Wow, your soulmate is basically um, is not at all happy in their life right now. They are suffering. They are in a, in a bad space right now in their life and they are missing you. They really want you in their life. They really want you to, to, uh, to, I feel like, you know, you, you don't know your soulmate yet, whoever it is. Because I feel like, you know, they, they are really looking forward to have you in their life. But at the same time, since it's been so long, they feel like, you know, giving up on it. They feel like, you know, maybe I'm, I'm never going to meet my soulmate. Maybe I'm never going to have the love that I desire. I feel like, you know, it's, it's almost the same energy as Cancerians usually do have. So I feel like, you know, whoever it is that that is going to be your soulmate, basically they might have had the same kind of past like you. Like maybe they have also been like, you know, into, into shitty situations when it comes to their love life as well. And now they are really looking forward to have you in their life and really want to have a connection which lasts for a lifetime. And I feel like, you know, whoever this is, uh, they, they are going to change themselves now they, they are tired of waiting for love they are tired to you know wait for love to come here to come their love uh, to come their way they are tired of chasing people thinking that they are their soulmate and i feel like you know it's pretty much the same energy as usually the cancerians get for some of you maybe your soulmate is also the sign of cancer or any water sign as well but yes that's what i'm picking up very strongly here i feel like you know your soulmate is unhappy right now in their life they're really looking forward to love which is pure, which is happy, which is fulfilling. So that's their current energy. And they're really looking forward to have you in their life. They're really wanting to meet you. Um, so you, they could experience some change in their life that they desire to have in their love life. Uh, let's take uh, cards for what are their thoughts, energies and feelings for you right now, which is going to com confirm the message which I'm picking up here that this person is somebody that you don't know yet. Your soulmate has not arrived in your life yet. And I feel like, you know, this person is also thinking about their soulmate as much as you are thinking of your soulmate. I mean, you are tired of and fucked up with the, with the wrong kind of relationships that you got into. They are also tired of the same thing. So it's, it's more like, you know, you both are mirroring each other uh, in one way or the other. I feel like, you know, you really should start manifesting your soulmate instead of, you know, chasing the wrong kind of people in your life. Because I feel like, you know, whoever you are currently dating, seeing uh, especially if you are unhappy in that connection then this is not your soulmate your soulmate is yet to enter in your life for majority of you who are checking this reading let's see what is your soulmate's current energies and feelings for you let's see what are they thinking of you what are they feeling for you what are their thoughts about you let's find out your soulmate's current energies current feelings and thoughts about you let's find out let's begin the hangman king of souls eight of cups underneath the deck 
ace of swords wow this person is somebody new this is not the person that you are dealing with this is not the person that you uh that you recently broke up with this person is going to be somebody new completely new because they're really looking forward that they, they they're really waiting for you to enter in their life but they are so sure that they, they don't want to settle in for less than you know anything now like they they desire love they deserve love and that's exactly what they are going to be looking forward to they really um they really visualize their person they really are putting their effort to um to keep themselves focused on the one person that they really want to be with for the rest of their life they have tested tried all the different kind of relationships they always failed to get the true love they chase people they stayed in different connections which didn't work out well for you they all they ultimately had to kind of you know walk out of that connection because they never got the love that they deserve for some of you maybe they they you know uh, your soulmate might have like you know been uh, left uh, left by by their person as well so i feel like you know right now they're really thinking of their person to be somebody who who's going to stay with them forever who's not going to put them on the waiting side to 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 decide about them um and you know them then make them feel like you know they are a choice for them so they really they really see or feel or think of their soulmate to be somebody who is ready who is exactly ready to give them what they desire and i feel like you know they they they, they don't want any delays in their love life you know the moment they they meet their soulmate they want to have a new beginning with them with a clear cut clarity that this is what they want in their life and if you are ready to give them this they are ready to give you their heart and their life too so i feel like you know your soulmate is basically um i feel like you know your soulmate is trying to manifest you and i would definitely suggest you to to try manifesting a new person in your life and then this person is going to enter in your life with the with all the love to offer with all the happiness to offer that you deserve that you desire um your soulmate is like completely done with unhappy unsatisfying relationships um and they are so sure that this is the type of person i want you know they they have a very clear image of you in their mind the way you look the way you should act the way you behave the way you love the way you prioritize them the way you you know uh share time have the bond and stuff they are very sure about all those things and they are waiting for for that time to come when you and them could meet to uh, could meet and be together for for each other forever now let's uh let's pull out some cards for uh to see what is your soulmate's message for you what is your soulmate's secret message for you what do they want you to know what do they want you to do what do they want you to have what is your soulmate's secret message for you what is their message for you what is your soulmate's message for you let's see what is your soulmate's message for you let's find out nine of swords they really want you to know that they are very upset in their life right now and they cannot um they cannot uh figure out how can they reach out to you how can they be with you they really miss you they really need you in their life they really you know wake up in the night and they they really feel the need to have you with them so uh they really want you to know that they are missing you in their life and they wish that you come back or come to them soon wow ace of cups they really have strong love to offer to you deep pure love to offer to you they really want you to know please enter in my life please come in my life and i will give you all the love that you deserve and desire and i will it's it's like you know this person is so overwhelmed with the feelings to share um that they never got the right person to share with they have so many sensitive uh things to talk about they have so many emotional stuff to share they have so much love to give and they never found the right person to give that all love and they really want you to know i'm ready filled with all my love in my heart for you to have till forever so this person is you know really 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 i feel like you know, they they cry at times you know uh feeling that you know where are you missing you uh needing to be with you so they they you know if even if they wake up in the middle of the night they have you by their side and it's like you know they are so um looking forward to meet you and they are not going to take a risk 
any risk to lose you once you have you know met this person is going to take you to the next level there and then they are really waiting for you to enter in their life they are really 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 waiting for you to reach out to them to to meet them and either like we do have eight of uh, wands for some of you maybe this person is going to be somebody you're going to meet through online through uh social media why because uh there will be a lot of communication going on between you and this person now i would again suggest you to use either scripting um or um try manifesting this person in your love life the words that you're going to write the words you're going to speak affirmations too is going to bring you this person in your life so use manifestation techniques to manifest this person in your love life and then ta-da a new beginning that you that you are waiting for with this person in your love life who is ready to give you all the love that you desire so i feel like you know it's it's going to be a very um good shift in your life as you meet uh, you know this person you're going to feel like you know as if you have met your missing piece because this person is going to be pretty much like you is what i'm picking up and i do see you guys going to communicate a lot where again i feel like you know for majority of you you have been to relationships that were very um sexual which were very uh, materialistic it was never fulfilling emotionally and now is the time when you are going to be talking to each other a lot and there is going to be this bond that you're going to have which you were you never had with anybody else in your life so yeah they they really looking forward to talk to you they really looking forward to see you to meet you to love you and they are waiting on for you to enter in their life and they are not you know they are not settling in for anything shitty in their life and they are telling you that that I'm ready to have a new beginning with you so just enter in my life and they are very receptive with their open arms to have you in their life and in their arms as well so yeah this pretty much it coming up for you for uh, for the soulmate read if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get to know about your personal you know soulmate you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye-bye.